I'm John Baker and I'm going to be talking today about some new functionality that we've added to NX9. Uh, today we're going to talk about the rib function. Now here's an example, a simple part, and I want to add a rib uh, basically uh, using this profile here. Now in the past we could add ribs using things like an extrude function, but it takes extra steps and, it, and, and you had to kind of know a, a proper procedure and so on. Uh, so what we've decided is that since ribs are very common, why don't we just make a function specifically for ribs. So we have the rib function and I'm just going to pick this profile. And you notice I didn't have to have a complete profile because it's smart enough to understand that if I want to create a rib, it's obviously going to be extended out to the edges of the part and so on. And I can add drafts. So I come down here because if this was a, uh, a molded part, it was going to have to have drafts. So it automatically adds draft. It knows how that the draft is, is symmetrical. It knows that it starts at this at the uh, top uh, rung here. And now I can sort of I can make the rib uh, shorter, you know, shallower or deeper, uh, higher. And you notice I get to the top here. It's not going to go any farther than that because of course if it went past the top it wouldn't be a rib anymore, it'd be something else. So, uh, so this is you know, an easy way to, to create that rib, so there we have it. Now, as I said, I could have created that rib with an extrude, but this profile here actually isn't suitable for an extrude because it's going to treat this circular area here as a region and it's going to try to fill that in. That's what an extrude function would do. So in this case, the rib function is very handy because it knows exactly how to create that. Again, I can add the draft to it because if it's going to be a molded part. And so there we have uh, the part. You can see the draft on it. And we'll go ahead and accept it. And now I have my rib. Now, you get a rib like this, you probably want to put blends around the top here to, to, to clean it up to make it nice and smooth. So I'll go into the blend function. Now, uh, this is the same regular blend function we've always had. And I could come in and say, well, gee, I could pick all these edges. But, you know, it'd be easier if I could just pick the face. So we've always had this face command. So I come in here and I pick the face and I say, okay, there's my face. And I go ahead and accept that. Well, I've got the blends, but that isn't really what you want because see this corner here? That isn't really way, the way you would want to end that blend. So rather than creating a totally new blend function, what we've done is we've added a new way of selecting what I want to blend. And so we're going to say a rib top edges. So it knows what a rib is supposed to look like. So now when I pick this, even though I've picked the top face again, it is known to ignore these last faces across the edge. It's only taking the edge of the rib and not the end of the rib and therefore I get a, a blend exactly the way I want it to be. And uh, as you can see it handles the, the Y corner here, it handles the transition and so now I get the, the fully blended rib exactly the way I would like it to be. Thank you.